Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at how Neutron 4 handles live drums. So I recorded a bunch of live drums, just basically live takes, with a friend of mine and his brother. He was playing the drums and his brother was playing the Dejembe. What I'm going to do is just put Neutron 4 on each channel, let the assistant run, see how it sounds, and then I'll tweak it a little bit and see how much effort it actually takes to get a usable mix. I always forget to do this, but if you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I appreciate the support. I'll let you hear just the dry sound at the minute, or it's a sort of a top-down mixing. I've been doing a bit of processing on the drum bus. So I've got smooth operator, doing a bit of gentle kind of ducking, mo cue just for tone shaping. And using United Plugins Nano Pulse, multi-band transient designer, very cool just to give an overall kind of punch to the track or to the drums and uh, I'll let you hear what that sounds like just as is now and I'll just A, B a little bit so smooth operator Cleaning things up very slightly. Blackbird MoQ from Kit Plugins. Another really nice, easy to dial in. Enjoying it a lot. So that's it bypassed. And then Nano Pulse. This is a really powerful transient designer. So I'll just go ahead and load up Neutron here. I'm going to just run the assistant. It's actually lower in volume, but it sounds a bit more present. We'll do the right channel. <coughs> Pardon me. Give these a little bit more punch. I'm finding this assistant view quite good compared to just the regular view. It's a nice quick way of just shaping a mix. So then I've got the kick. This is all running on a M1 MacBook Air. Both Neutron 4 and Neutron 3 are, are natively supported now. So that didn't identify kick. So I'll just switch it to kick. Move on to the Dejambi.
So if I find a new drone, I'm liking the tape saturation the best. Somewhere between tape and tube. This kick, a lot of bleed. So what I can probably do is create a gate module. I wonder can I drag that across? Is it better at the start or the end? Probably at the start. And then So I could use a gear if I wanted to clean it up. Or if I just like the added sort of room presence there or extra little bit of bleed. On the Dijambi, I also have this Steinberg multi-top delay. I've just been messing around with some of the presets just to see what kind of creative stuff it can do. So I'll just turn that on. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just harvest as many loops as I can from this and then I'm going to re-import them into the project and uh, from there I'll start building up a track just using these different drum loops. Maybe import them as stems, maybe import them just as stereo. Yeah, I've basically just been going through and uh, finding the bits that loop seamlessly.
So yeah, Neutron 4 is actually doing a really good job there. I'm impressed. Didn't really take too much work to get it usable. This sort of assistant view is actually really handy. Just at a glance, you can select your instrument type. You can load up your own profiles if you want. You can add your punch, change your different types of distortion. So you've got more modern types of artificial, and then you've got your more retro, kind of retro tape, warm tube. Got your stereo width as well. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with Neutron 4. It's a decent upgrade. As well as that, it seems to run very well on native Apple Silicon. This is, as I say, it's an M1 MacBook Air, but it's actually running really nicely. 